So this is uh, the pedal powered uh, garden scrap chopper. It's uh, an early stage of it. It's a, still a prototype anyway. It's cobbled together from various used parts. Um, bicycle as. parts, okay. uh, bed frame, uh, a gas tubing, now the drive shaft, uh, bicycle cranks, uh, bicycle gearing and brake levers, uh, aluminum flashing from uh, a long piece of, uh, of uh, air duct that I found in someone's garbage and reclaimed, a bicycle wheel rim here, uh, some chunks of aluminum that I found in a workshop that was being dumped and I turned into various parts and clamps and, and uh, bearing housings and stuff like that. This obviously is a bicycle frame that's been repurposed with the bicycle wheel serving as a flywheel. Um, and I machined stuff to go inside it so that it fits around a shaft. It's just... Uh, a lot of crazy fun stuff, you know? Yeah. And uh, this derailleur, probably can't see it that well here, but it's a com combination of a front derailleur with a rear derailleur on a bicycle. Uh, I kind of mashed them together so that I could shift gears on this. And as I crank it, obviously, so this is the smallest cog here, which is the fastest cutting rate. And I can shift to an easier gear here for the harder stuff. In fact, there's a sunflower stalk right at your feet there that David and I tried earlier. So why don't you feed it in, uh, Rocky, and see if it gets through it or not. There we go. No, don't push too hard, just let it rest in there. Yeah. So it's cutting quite nicely, actually, at this low speed. What do you think? Easy enough? Very easy. Yeah. So imagine on the harder gear with three sets of legs pumping away, it should be pretty good. Yeah. It's just about the right, you know, effort. You can feel it hitting. Yeah. Why don't we go to the easier one yet? Keep going. Okay. Uh, this Easier? Okay. It goes slow. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It does. But again, uh, if you're uh, when there's peddlers, it'll probably go yeah. three to four times faster right. than this in speed. Okay, that's yeah. what. That was so, my question. Yeah. Sorry. So, and that, where will the pedals be here? Here. Where? It's a whole unit oh. of pedal stations, three stations. Oh, oh, three. Whoa. Well, isn't that what you wanted? You wanted several kids? Of course! Right. So there. Yeah. Uh, so that's the plan. Cool. Uh, and it'll be coupled with this using a, a kind of a, sort of an agricultural PTO type of adapter. So eventually, would this be compost? Or would it, it will go to the compost. Mulch, yeah. uh, compost, I mean, if you want it to be mulch, sure. So there's a little knob here that screws in to hold the, uh, the inlet, for, oh, there we go, to hold the inlet up for function and also uh, uh, keep it down for transport. Oh, yeah. The guard pops out. It's, uh, it's a guard to keep little hands away from the blade hole. Mm -hmm. This is the blade hole and now removing the clips. We get the face front of the housing off. And this is the blade that I fashioned uh, uh, at home with some machining tools and I, the one I forged at, uh, at David's uh, place. Treated it with charcoal to put carbon in it and then hardened it and, uh, and tempered it. Uh, when I first set it up, I was testing various things and over time it developed a few small chinks off it. So I sharpened it again and now it seems to be holding it such a, a little better. So this is part of your planned obsolescence to keep us coming back to you every year for sharpening. Right, sure, that's it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, all the parts are the, on this are so weird. I'm the only one who could replace them and make them. But <laughs> it wasn't intentional, it's just the way my limited mind works. I wasn't thinking of mass production and automation just yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, my my plan to take over the uh, metal-powered mulcher world is, is <laughs> limited. So, oh, yeah. so.
Can we, oh, wow. can we right see it with the, the gears changed on that too? Like sure, that? sure. Why don't you change gears while you're going, David? Uh, pick the other one. I think that's used up. Oh, okay, so that's slower, slower. Um, yeah, even slower. Okay, now the, the, the only trouble with, I think, the finished product is it looks a lot like, they look like cigarette butts. <laughs> yeah, <you see> <laughs> okay. yeah. right. I think it's good for composting. It's good yeah. enough for composting. Yeah, yeah I agree too. Composting and also, it, even if the pieces are dry, they break open and this mm -hmm. exposes everything to yeah. the composting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think, people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was a total yeah. gas to make that. It <laughs> took a lot of time, but it's always fun to do I this just kind of stuff. I want to see three bicycles and kids on. Wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> that's that's hopefully for next year. Yeah. I'll see what the winter brings. Yeah. So, so the bike's wheels will all be going at the same rate. It will be like riding a tandem bike, in other words. I'll see if I can make it as close as possible together, but... Uh, oh, there'll be a free wheel, so one can stop. Um, yes, the... yes, they won't have to keep pedaling. Oh, uh, okay, Basically, I see. E each bike will have its own free wheel at the shaft, yeah. so that they can pedal as much as they want and stop, and this will continue <laughs> while the other two pedal. Well, your prototype is working well. It is, yeah. I'm surprised it's made it this long. How? What? You know, it is, uh, it's been half an hour and it's still not broken down. <laughs> Woo! Brilliant. I'm pleased about that. I can see, though, that the, the drive chain for the blade here is getting a little saggy on the bottom there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So things are coming a little bit out of adjustment. The, um, that bottom bracket there is, uh, I found this at the shop. It's the kind that goes on a, on a recumbent bike and attaches to a piece of tubing to set the tension of the chain. Okay. But I think it slides a little bit, you know, the clamps are a bit on the loose side maybe. Well, it even got the brake It does, yeah. No fingers in the way, careful. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so yeah, this is gonna have a proper housing to contain all the chains and cogs so no fingers get stuck and nothing gets, no one gets their hands caught in the spokes or anything. Um, I just don't want anything exposed, you know but still somehow openable for services and such. So. Uh, you know, up till now, we haven't really had to use the backwards crank. This is what it's for, for if something gets stuck, it's to get the blade unjammed. Um, but if I do need something like it, I'm gonna cut this off, add a, a disc somehow that someone can grip around the edges and do the reverse with rather than this that oh, could be knocking to... someone into it. Well, that's a purpose. Yeah, it's a reverse. So I'm going to shift gears here. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Keep oh, going. yeah, sorry. Shifting gears okay. to the easier ones. Okay. Oh, it's uncooperative. Okay, there we okay. go. Okay. I think it, that has shifted a tiny bit. <laughs> so keep going pretty fast. I'm going to go gradually. It's cutting. There, it's starting to feed through. Yeah, I'm just applying a tiny bit of pressure, and every time it's in the right spot, it just sinks right in. Is a stopper so they don't cut the tension? Sorry? There is a stopper. Yeah, well, if, when this was open, you could see it was shaped, it wasn't round at the end, so that's preventing this from going through. And uh, this prevents this from being fed this way also, <laughs> which would be a big headache landing that on the blade. Um, not too bored, Maria? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah. Cleaning up the blades. Yeah. So, you know, you read, you'd run some green and wet stuff, you run some dry stuff, it helps counterbalance and scour things out of the way, you know. So it's taken us almost an hour to make almost a bucket full. <laughs> but you said it will, but it will take us only 20 minutes next when Something we like have that. the bike set up. I hope so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll try to keep to my promise. <laughs> oh, we could just attach a motor, right, babe? <laughs> <Yes>. You! <laughs>
A diesel. We could just get a diesel engine, right? Yeah. yeah. No, coal-fired yeah, coal boiler. Fired. Yeah. Boiler. Okay, next. After almost an hour and a half of going on, uh, with Maria at the helm most of the time, you know, inexpendable energy, which is great. In a way, and Finn is happy to keep feeding her uh, stems to chop. We've dumped the first bucket full back near the pile of straps, and we're starting to fill the second bucket full. And that's the scoop. So that's good, and like I said earlier, no major misalignment. And uh, the blade seems still relatively intact. I will open it up to see if there's been any uh, notching of the blade. It shows some chipping at the edge. Right there, yeah. Let's see what I'll do about that. 